time check. It's about 11, 15 a.m. Uh, we did not hunt this morning. We had a storm come through and we we're waiting for the wind to change accordingly. So now we have a predominantly north wind and we are gonna go jump into a stand that uh, we've been waiting for. It's got super good cover. It's in a river bottom. It's got some food. So it's kind of got the things you're looking for, which we haven't had yesterday. We didn't have food. We didn't have cover. We didn't see deer. So we're optimistic. The weather is approximately 20 degrees. Maybe today's the day we get some white-tailed deer on camera and uh, maybe Casey can get a nice buck. So here we go, guys. Whitetail hunt has been challenging, but fun. It's one of those things I think we're gonna continue to try to do more of is the strategy component, you know? And uh, it's different. We're not used to it, but it's been, uh, been a good 24 hours of kind of getting our feet wet. Now it's time to get busy. Come along, let's see what we can do. sneak in there we got a good north wind finally it's what we've been hoping for so it's about a quarter mile hike in there but we're gonna try to slip into the I think it's a box blind so we're gonna slip into the box blind behind it get set up it's about 11 30 but we're gonna sit there all day this buck has hit three days before we showed up it hit every day in the daylight about three to four o'clock so just been waiting for this wind and we finally got it I like I like our our odds I'm 
information. What keeps me doing it though is we're trying to get to understand white tail better. We want to start hunting white tail like yearly. I don't love sitting in a blind, but it is exciting because you'll sit there for two, three, maybe four days, and in the back of your mind, you're like, this is never going to happen. I'm never going to like see a buck come in. And all of a sudden, dude, boom, you see something moving, and all of a sudden it's a buck working his way in. So it's the anticipation. I'd like the idea of maybe doing a, like a tree saddle thing where we could actually go and maybe get closer to where these deer are bedding because I don't think these deer are nocturnal. I just think that we're just far enough away from where they're at that maybe sometimes they just don't come by in the light. It is, is a tough, probably the toughest time of the year to kill a big mature white tail is after the rut when it gets really cold and their, their movement is limited. They're not out cruising on, cruising, looking for ladies or anything like that. They're just in their little bedding areas, trying to recover from the rut, and then they'll go get food at night. And see me by the sack spot. He's gonna walk across the road. Yeah, right. yeah. Shoot him.